Do you want to look professional by adding your logo to your reel? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add your logo to your reel and how to adjust the duration of your logo. Make sure you watch this video because the method has changed. Hi, I'm Ida, a corporate storyteller and online educator based in Vancouver, Canada. Are you an entrepreneur ready to take your business to the next level, but when it comes to Reels, you don't know how you can use them to grow your business? Well, I've created the Reels Blueprint, which is gonna guide you through the gear and the strategy behind using Reels to grow your business. Download my free Reels Blueprint now. Okay, so here is a Reel I filmed for Halloween. It's me in my Halloween costume. There we go. And let's say, for example, I wanna add my logo to this. So originally how you were doing this is you would go over to your photos, you'd find your logo, and then you would go to copy photo, and then you'd bring it over to here. And so you'd have to add the text. To add text, you can press add text here at the bottom, and then you would just hold down and press paste. This will paste your logo to the clip. But when you look down here in the editor, you won't see this appear. Meaning, if you do it this way, you're not going to be able to adjust which portion of your video is going to have that logo. Instead, it's going to appear in that same spot for the entirety of the video. However, you can do it so that you can adjust which parts of your video are gonna show the logo. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first of all, let's click on this big screen. Let's grab this logo and let's move it on down to the trash can because we don't want it for the duration. We just want it for, let's say the first part before I'm a skeleton. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go up here. You can see this happy face and then I see this photo thing. Now you're gonna select your logo. You're gonna also want to make sure that your logo is a PNG with a translucent background. What this means is that the background is gonna be see-through. So if you see my logo here, there is no background behind it. It is just the logo itself. I'm just gonna show you how to quickly do that in Canva. Let's go to Canva. I'm gonna go to a new design, let's say logo. So let's say I make a logo, a brand new logo from Canva. Let's say this is my logo. And now I wanna save it as a PNG with a translucent background. So all I'm gonna do is go to this arrow facing up, and then it's going to allow me to see all these options down here. I wanna not just click the save, like the arrow facing down, the save button, because if I do that, it's just gonna default into a JPEG and it's not gonna remove that background. So I'm gonna do that arrow facing up, and then I'm gonna click on download, and you can see PNG is already selected. However, as a default, transparent background won't be selected. So make sure you select that and then you can download it, save image. There we go. It's now in my camera roll. So now you can go over to my camera roll and you can see it's a PNG. It has no background to it as well. So let's just add one of these now. You see when I add it this way through the photo, I can go over to edit and it's going to appear down here as a sticker. So now I'm able to change when it's going to appear. And the great thing about this new editor is that it helps you cut or change the duration of something at a change in clip. So you can see here, I change from this clip to this clip and to line it up, it's really easy. You just select the end of the graphic, so this like yellow bar at the end. You know it's selected when it goes yellow because you can see if I unselect it, there's no bar. When I select it, there's that yellow bar. And then I just move that yellow bar until you see that, see that yellow line? That yellow line indicates the cut. There we go. And now you can see if you watch it, the logo is gonna go away for when I transition from clip to clip. So that is the best way for you to currently add a logo to your images. Let me just show you one more time. So if you access it from here, if you don't have to go into the top menu, you can actually access it from here. It's also called a sticker here at the bottom. And then so you select your image, 
done. And now you can see I have that next sticker and then I can just adjust the duration. If I want it to go for the whole thing, it's just gonna move the other sticker down to the other line. So it's gonna make me two separate lines so I can add multiples and have them come and go as I please. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button or better yet, subscribe. If you wanna dive deeper, I have an amazing freebie that's gonna transform your business. So download that now. And remember, messy action is always better than no action. Till next time, peace.